So the country of the day is Samoa and something I would love to see is the Robert Louis Stevenson Museum and this is actually in this author's former home. It's a lovely, lovely villa called Villa Vailima. So I would love to see that. I'm sure it's very beautiful. And I'd like to learn some more about this famous author as well. Uh, I'd, lo I'd also like to see Lava Field. This is supposed to be very desolate and eerie and mysterious and just um, a natural beauty to see. So Lava Field would be on my list of places to go in Samoa. I'm sure that Samoa has amazing sunsets. So I'd like to see this at Cape Mulinu'u. I hope I'm saying that right. Cape Mulinu'u. <laughs> I'd like to play some Kirikiti. So Kirikiti is a Samoan style cricket where dancing is as important as catching the ball. Um, I'm not so good at catching the ball, but I'm better probably at dancing, so that sounds like a win for me. And yeah, um, I wouldn't mind getting a traditional tattoo uh, from Samoa. That would be an, a very interesting place to do it. I always thought that if I were to get tattoos, it would be during travels from just, um, you know, local people and get something that means something in their culture. So that would be um, a forever souvenir for me. So I'd also like to see Tosua Ocean Trench. So this is an amazing place to look at the sky and just relax. So I love water. I love anything to do with nature, beaches, green, blue waters, blue skies. I'm there. So I would love to see that. I would definitely love to drift through some coral colonies at the Palolo Deep Marine Reserve. So that sounds like a beautiful place to check out as well. Maybe I'd also like to bathe in a jungle pool at Afu Au Falls. And maybe I could do that before standing on top of Pule Mele Mound. So I'm getting a challenge with this Samoan language here. I'd also like to take a hike along Tutuila's mountainous spine to the top of Mount Alava. I'd like to listen to some Samoan music from King Kapisi and maybe Scribe. So those are some common groups that they have there. So some things I like to try are oka and this is raw fish in lime juice and coconut milk. That sounds very interesting. So I would love to try that. And also palosami. So palosami is taro leaves cooked with coconut cream. I love coconut anything so you cover anything with coconut and I just might eat it. Uh, within reason. And Fa'a Samoa. Fa'a Samoa means the Samoan way. So I guess this is a common saying in Samoa. I would definitely love to watch and also learn how to do some Fia Fia dancing. So the song I'm going to be singing is actually the Samoan anthem and this one's called O Le Fua O Le Sa Olotoga O Samoa. Well, it's a very long name um, but I think it means like something about a banner, uh, the, the, the flag or something like that about Samoa and the flag. Samoa tula i masisi i ala fua lo paleleya Samoa tula i masisi i ala fua lo Ina fetu olo ua agi agi ai. 
Well, I hope you don't mind that my doves have sang with me in that song, so they apparently wanted to be a part of that, and, well, it just sounded too cute, so I couldn't stop. Enjoy the sound of my doves with me. <laughs> Yay! So I'll serious now about this. Okay. Lipstick okay? Okay. I and I think I messed up the words because it's Samoan and not English. Uh oh, we'll start over again. So here's the mommy bird birdie boop. Oops, she just pooped. <laughs> That's to be expected because she sits on the nest a lot, so whenever I take her out she always has to go to the bathroom. Of course you do, don't you? Now you're wondering what's up. Well, you know what time it is? It's time for you to pick a country. So I hope you you remember your job. I know you have a new job now. Which one do you want? Which one? Which one do you want? Go on, Baba. Pick a country? Go on, pick a country. You kind of did. You picked this one, didn't you? You were pointing to that one. Are you afraid to pick them up now or something? Well, you and Wade are doing the same thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is with you. I'm like afraid to pick countries lately. Okay, so we have Lebanon with 7 million people and Arabic. Good pick, Birdie Boo. You want the paper? You like my eyeshadow? Ow! Ouch! Don't do that. Hmm, okay. Alright, well, we dove you, and Lebanon is next. See you then. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye-bye. Pretty Whip says bye-bye with another poop. Oh, right. I got some cleaning up to do. Woo.